Dearly beloved, we are gathered here tonight to talk about the blockchain. What's that, Mark? Well, the blockchain, my friend, is many things. Number one, it is accountable. Number two, it is honest. Honest. Number three, it is ecumenical. Ecumenical. But more importantly than any of that, Matt, I'm going to tell you what it is. You want to know? What is it? What is it? It is funky. Woo! We've got a show to start. But let's play this one from the high. Ooh, that's right. Because before it all goes down tonight, you and I have got to get the mood right. I'm talking peer to peer connection. Now we're moving in the right direction. Because when there's no middle man with a middle plan, no one's gonna meddle with this election. Quick deflection. So now, without any further obstruction, no more highbrow introductions. Let's you and I give these folks a little something, something. You see. Sing it with I us. said, welcome to the block. Ch -ch -ch it goes, welcome to the block. Ladies and gentlemen, Ch -ch thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for coming out to live from tomorrow. Blockchain for business. Thank you. Feels nice, feels nice. And, and Do you know who this is? Who is, who is this? I'm, I'm Matt Hooper. I'm the host of Live from Tomorrow. Whoa, 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 for whoa, 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 whoa there, Matt Hooper. You see, here on the blockchain, we don't need hosts. No, not that Asian word. Uh-uh. Because a host, my friend, is just another word for a middleman between the audience and the entertainer. No, guys, I, I, I serve a purpose, you know. I... Uh, no, 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 Get off the block. Welcome to the block. You heard me. Che I said, get off the block. Get yourself off the block. Step it che back, pretty boy. Get off the block. Welcome. Now leave the Guys, block. Guys, I serve a purpose. I said, hey, get off the block. Get yourself hey, off the hey, block. Hey, 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 everybody. Let's flock together. Let's do the blockchain dance, dance like birds of a feather. feather. I feel good about that. That's, you feel that's good about really that? Good. Really good. That's really good. Good job, everybody. Welcome All to right. the block, man. Who wants to have a good time tonight? There you go. Woo! I love it. I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Matt Hooper, and I, I'm trying to serve a purpose here tonight. And I want to welcome you all to Live from Tomorrow, Blockchain for Business. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mom. And I want to talk about my, my, uh, my favorite idea tonight, right? The technology on the tips of everybody's tongue, blockchain. Uh, blockchain is, some would say, the internet at its most honest. Though, if I'm being honest, when I want to clear my search history, the last thing I want my internet to be is honest, you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe my internet could be forgetful, I might want that. that, that might be something I actually want. But no, let's take a step back, folks, and actually talk about what the blockchain actually is, right? The blockchain is an open database, publicly available to everyone, that maintains a growing list of records called blocks. And these blocks typically include money, goods, property. Honestly, look, if it has value, it's in. Unlike pogs, which I'm sorry, Cousin Larry, pogs are never making a comeback. <laughs> uh, look, additionally, every transaction is logged with all relevant information and without the need of a middleman overseeing anything, right? With the help of blockchain, we have finally created a public ledger of transaction that is constantly being verified by the entire community, therefore mitigating the chances of corruption. And it's impossible to really think about how, how groundbreaking this concept is without the help of, of music and jokes, of course. Uh, but this is as if uh, when you were a kid and you pu were pushed to the ground by a kindergarten bully, Tuck Hardknuckle. And, and, and yes, this, this kid's name is totally Tuck Hardknuckle. He doesn't look like a Clifford, uh, does he? Anyway, it's as if all the peers in the playground joined together 
and helped you beat up Tuck Hardknuckle because they all had verification that he did it and they all joined you to kick his butt, right? There you go. But peer-to-peer -peer transactions, peer-based connections on the thread don't just have to do with avenging schoolyard bullies, right? Uh, th this, is, this is probably the most exciting opportunity that I see. It's something, it's something that we need to change the cue card for, but I'm excited. Woo! <laughs> no, get back up there, back up there. But you got to think of who the right kind of person would be that would actually want to make something like this, folks. Because when I made that joke originally, you, you end up thinking about someone like this, right? This is the kind of person that believes strongly in building the accounting of things. And it's funny, because actually the real inventor of this, Satoshi Nakamoto, who wrote the white paper, that, that's a pseudonym, which is interesting, because honestly, you'd think we'd get a real name out of Satoshi, right? Honesty is such a big deal, the immutability of blockchain. But I get it. Honesty is terrifying. It's why my Tinder profile says that my name is Jack Awesome and my pet peeves include achy muscles from lifting too many piles of money. <laughs> Blockchain has gone from the realm of hobbyists and cryptocurrency to major enterprise. And it's actually why we're here tonight. Round of applause, folks. <laughs> Technology brings trusted transactions to industries such as global supply chains, international payments, and of course, media and entertainment. And IBM has been at the forefront of collaborating with these forward-thinking individuals. Embracing new way of doing business, partnering with an open source community of developers, startups, and enterprise and hyperledger with the ultimate goal of advancing blockchain for businesses. There you go. Mom is a big IBM fan too. Uh, IBM offers a secure platform where you can experiment and deploy blockchain networks while providing access to experts who have helped build the solution from the ground up with over 400 client engagements. Think about that, right? That is 100 fewer than 500. So it's in this trust that we, we see the opportunity for blockchain, where blockchain can address the challenges that have so far uh, sort of surpassed the reach of other technological solutions, right? And there isn't room for, for middlemen and everything in a, in a peer-based transaction, and that's sort of one of the, the traumatic bits of this, right? Because while I might get a kick out of losing the middlemen, it's in fact a tragedy for the filmmakers behind 2014's Monkey in the Middle. <laughs> this was the plot of their movie. Could we zoom in for a second on why this movie was rated PG? What is the violence in Monkey in the Middle? That's what I want to know. Did they hurt the monkey? Did someone hurt the monkey? Sick world. Anyway, we're going to be learning a lot more about blockchain tonight. Exciting businesses, organizations, applications built on blockchain. Because guys, in blockchain, as with anything, honesty is still, as always, the best policy. Right? And whether we're uh, going to be giving away anyone's secret identity tonight, because that's not really the point. I see you, Stefan or Kel. We know that you have a pseudonym to keep, right? And we're not going to reveal anything, Mr. Urkel. I mean, Satoshi. I think we solved the mystery tonight, right? I think we have. Who wants to watch a funny video? I know I do. I know I'm here for the videos. And, and you know, one of my favorite features of blockchain technology Matt, is actually. Matt, wait. Yes, Paul. I have this letter in my possession, and it's a message from across the Hudson. Dude, I'm in the middle of a show right now. You know what I mean? This is not I the right. Tell the people of this great story that my father died. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a little morbid, man. You know, we're in the middle of a comedy show here tonight, okay? Uh, the the idea is that. If you want to be a part of what we do, right, there are a number of middlemen you have to go through in order to, to join the show and to help produce it, right? Come to writers' meetings, strategy sessions, maybe next time. If only my life was as devoid of middlemen as blockchain. <laughs> anyway, one of my favorite features of blockchain technology is the ability to audit trace the entire global supply chain. So with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, I present you our first video of the evening, Love on the Blockchain.